is our last ZBrush uh, transitioning into Substance uh, Painter um, video. So basically what we're going to do is uh, export a very high density geometry and also kind of a low uh, geometry. So we're at six. I noticed uh, on mine I went up to seven. Uh, we're just under a million. I try to keep it under two million just so that you're, unless you have an Uber PC uh, computer. All right, so we're at six. And so uh, if we look at one, it's pretty, uh, pretty low level. Um, but if you're trying to do like this whole VR experience and you have 200 fish, uh, definitely go with this lower level and uh, bake on the maps. Uh, we're gonna go up to one more level and uh, uh, export this out. So one of the things I forgot to show you was in Maya is selecting all the edges and hit smooth. So let's hopefully this uh, smooths out once we get into, we may bring it in even into Maya and uh, correct that. Uh, if you look up here, it's only about 3,000 polygons. If we went up to our third level, it's 15,000. That's a little heavy for uh, probably what you guys are doing. Well, let's go up to, yeah, let's go down to two. All right, All right so we're going to go ahead and hit export. And what we're going to do is export. And now we can play around with three also. I think I did that earlier. Uh, on a previous. So we're going to go to Redfish and uh, let's, let's just go ahead and create one. It's called Substance uh, Painter. All right, so we're going to hit Create. And so we have Redfish. I'm going to call this uh, low, uh, underscore low. So that's number three. So we're going to hit uh, Save. And you'll see up here, it should do some calculations. Uh, it may have already done it since it's quite low. And let's go up one more level, level up to three. And we're gonna export out again, export. And I'm gonna call it three, or no, low, low. Instead of low, just low. That way we know it's up one level from low, low. Hit save. I guess it's going that fast. Usually uh, it takes a little bit more time to calculate. So now we're gonna go up to uh, level six and we're gonna export this out. And this is gonna be called high. So we know that's a, a, a very expensive uh, real estate. So we're gonna OBJ save that. So you can see this one is taking a little bit longer. If we were at seven, it would almost take them maybe uh, two minutes, three minutes sometimes because it's a lot of data. All right. So I have my fear that we didn't uh, relax these, so we may have to bring in that low low to a lower level and uh, relax those edges so it's a little bit smoother. All right, so we're gonna open up Substance Painter. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, should be able to download that. Should be part of your Adobe Suite now. It used to be separate and now it's uh, all together. This is uh, probably the most amazing product ever invented. Uh, other than ZBrush, uh, Substance Painter, I really love just because all the procedural ways of dirtying up surfaces and so forth. All right, it does take a, a pretty while, a pretty long to open it up. I do not want a new version. And what we're going to do is go ahead and get started. So it's basically it's on it's Photoshop on steroids, which you can do stuff uh, from Maya and ZBrush and really does great things with seams, like you never see the seam where you're painting. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what we're bringing up. So I basically went right to file a new project, and basically we are going to start with a 4K, so we can do 1K now. Again, I have no idea where this project is leading. I don't know if it's for an Oculus or whatever. Uh, you guys are using Unity. So probably 2K is fine. I'm just gonna go up to 4K just so we have a high resolution. PBR metal, uh, metallic roughness is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select our model. So I'm gonna go to, uh, come on, to our Redfish and I'm gonna go to Substance and I'm gonna do the low, not the low, low. And let's bring this in. 
in it maybe a real quick journey where we have to go back into uh, Maya and relax those edges. It may be a little bit rough. It may still look like that polygon look. So we're gonna find out really quickly. So we're gonna hit uh, okay, keep everything uh, the same here. Again, we have our UV mapped it uh, in subs uh, not Substance ZBrush. And uh, so everything should work out. Okay, so we're gonna pull it in. And uh, so you can see over on our uh, right here is our UV map and over here on the left. So you can uh, divide this. We don't really need to look at that yet. Uh, and this is very similar to Maya. So you can hit uh, your option. And boy, that, if that's our low, that looks pretty good. Uh, we haven't even baked out the high. I hope I selected that correctly. All right, so that's a pretty good model uh, so far. And the cool thing is uh, with uh, Substance Painter, you can hold down shift and right click and you can kind of uh, push this uh, lighting system around, which is really cool. So if you don't always have to turn this thing uh, around to see this, uh, the surfacing, you can right click, shift, right click, and really, really awesome real time lighting. And it's really effective once we start adding our textures to everything. All right, so let's go ahead to the next phase. We're gonna bake out our texture maps and we're gonna bake out that high resolution one on top of this low one. So this low one's really lightweight. Uh, I think it's like 15,000 uh, verts, which is tiny, right? Uh, so I'm gonna pull that line around here. And so we're gonna look for the texture set list. I'm gonna look over here to my last, uh, to my cheat sheet. So we're going to texture settings and I think this is right to PBR uh, so this is not the right one so I'm going to just kind of click till I find it texture settings set settings um, this is it so you kind of have to kind of look around if you, uh, hopefully all our uh, interfaces look the same I think is this is somewhat the latest uh, substance painter and so what we're going to do is bake these maps we're going to kind of do 4k again uh, you'll be able to go all the way up to uh, 8K if you want. Uh, once we start getting to the beige, uh, the bake mesh maps. All right. So what we're going to do is go uh, to 4K again. Uh, you saw it was at 512. That is something for like maybe Oculus. Now, if you're really going for Oculus, you really need to scale everything down to 1K because uh, Oculus does not have a lot of processing power. I'm always doing stuff uh, with tons of transparencies and I'm thinking with a huge Alienware and uh, a Vive Pro with the highest resolution. So my stuff, my research is really pushing um, this system. And so probably not an efficient way uh, either. All right, so we got into 4K and we're gonna go over here to where it says high definition meshes and we're gonna click on this little button and we're gonna hit the high, high. I hope they got to hit the low earlier. Uh, and you can see the low is 1.6 megabytes. I mean, how small is that? That is tiny. And then the low, low one, which was pretty good resolution, was 398 kilobytes. Tiny, it's like a third of a megabyte. So we're gonna open up this uh, 117. Sometimes this is in the gigabyte, uh, and which is fine. You're just baking out some really beautiful textures. So we're gonna hit open. I want to keep everything here, uh, my normal, my world space ID. All this is like some really beautiful data. This is the stuff that we're going to kick out uh, from Substance Painter and then get it into Unity. And we'll show you how to get all those amazing textures to work uh, correctly. All right, so we're going to go down to the very bottom and hit Bake, Selected Surfaces. Now I'll pull this off to the side and you can see it go through uh, baking the normal maps. Uh, right now, we are doing the world space uh, ID. And right now, we're doing ambient inclusion, curvature. A lot of this you may not know, even I don't know. Position and also default map fitness. Now, all these are languages, uh, uh, different texture maps that work perfectly in game engines. A lot of this is a overkill if we're doing like VFX. A lot of this you don't use in the the editor, so you can see this uh, beautiful default thickness is really beautiful too. All right, boom. So we're gonna hit okie dokie, 100% done, all right. Again, I, I was a little heavy handed on our modeling. It looks pretty grotesque. So we should have probably turned that off 
but again, it gives us some thickness of, uh, yeah, it looks pretty awful. This is really, uh, it looks like we just basically modeled with a <laughs> toothpaste or something like that. So definitely when you're in ZBrush, uh, turn off the uh, textures because it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. I would have definitely smoothed that out, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go back because uh, I don't have time, but uh, definitely we're gonna start adding the textures and that will definitely hide a lot of it. So uh, sorry about that. Hopefully I'll show that in class uh, to turn, show you how to turn that off and Boy, does that look bad. All right, anyways, uh, it is what it is, but it's based, baked out all our maps, and you can kind of scroll through here and see all our different maps. And if I roll over them, or if I click on them, it should be able to pop up. All right, so when I roll over, you can kind of see uh, definitely the normal maps, the position and all that. So uh, again, doesn't look perfect uh, here, uh, but once we add the textures of all the scales and so forth, it's gonna look pretty amazing. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. On the next one, we're gonna project onto the surface, uh, project, to, we're also gonna make it dirty, doing some uh, procedural stuff to kind of add some dirtiness to the fish, even though it's in the water, but it will give some dimensionality. And we'll also use our image to kind of create uh, deformations and create uh, the scales to go either in or out. So this won't be so grotesque, you won't see it. And also the RGB. And that's about it. I uh, really don't want to spend too much time in Substance Painter because we're going to have to spend a lot of time in rigging uh, back in Maya. But this is, uh, I was really making uh, fun of myself uh, how bad this is, but uh, it's not that bad. Uh, again, we should have gone back in ZBrush and taken a better uh, peek at it, but it is a quite an aggressive looking fish, but I think we did a little bit heavy handed. We definitely should have hit shift and uh, muscled this down. All right, so let's stop here. Um, again, with Substance Painter, you definitely want to save this. Out. I'm going to go ahead and save this as, um, I don't know, call it Redfish. All right, and I'm going to make a subfolder. I'm gonna call it Substance, so we know it, it is the actual software Substance Painter. All right, so I'm gonna hit Create. And that is it, so I'm gonna save. All right, so we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna upload all these videos. Again, all these tutorials are gonna be uh, available for you guys so when you get into uh, working on your next fish or your next manatee or whatever you can kind of go back and look at this pipeline but I'm trying to scale down a very very simple pipeline so you can wrap your head around it you're not going to get it all in today's uh, kind of workshop it's going to take weeks and weeks uh, maybe over the summer to kind of uh, attain all this knowledge and where you feel very natural in the modeling of all this all right, good luck, and again, I'll be with you guys, and on the next tutorial, we're gonna get onto the texturing, and then exporting all the maps uh, for uh, Unity, and then we'll get into back into Maya, do some rigging, and then uh, bring everything, uh, animation, bake it out as the FBX, and go right back into Unity, and add all our maps to it. All right.